Well, final check on your weather forecast, getting you ready for the weekend, getting you ready for the upcoming week. Changes on the way today. It's the warm before the storm. St. George, 72 degrees, winds fairly light. We're expecting to see afternoon highs reach the 80s. We'll have some high clouds in place. Clouds begin to push here along the Wasatch Front, but again, these are high level clouds. You'll have plenty of sunshine. Look at the winds, though, picking up out of the south, 22 miles per hour currently with a wind gust of 30 miles per hour. So a little bit more breezy today. Winds will be increasing throughout the weekend before our cold front looks to reach us on Sunday. So as I mentioned, warming up, we're near 80 degrees for expected high, well above average record for today. 81. I want to go back though, taking a look at the state snowpack. This is actually as of last year, right near tax season 2023 across the state, really leaning about 200 to 250 percent above average. Some locations were well above that. Look across near St. George, you were at 324 percent. Now, as we look at the current snowpack situation, looking healthy. Now, as we've been warming temperatures in some spots, we've seen about a 10 percent decrease just over the last four days here across portions of central into eastern Utah. A little bit of a drop here across the north as you would expect we're not really building as much snow we're starting to deplete it especially with these warmer temperatures now looking ahead we do have a storm system we'll start the work week off next week a little bit on a wet note once we get past that long range looks like we're going to kind of be leaning to a little bit below average uh, precipitation particularly across western through southern utah about average here across the north so some wet weather in the forecast not a lot but we do get hit again with our next storm system which will mainly bringing showers here across northern utah we're not seeing that shower threat right now high pressure is still the dominating weather feature currently but the flow turning out of the southwest that's kicking up the temperatures there we look at our next storm system. This one's going to be digging south, as mentioned, tracking towards the state, moving through the weekend where we start to bring in some upper level moisture, even a possibility, maybe seeing a few mountain sprinkles here today. But as we take a look over the next uh, 48 hours with the precipitation, it's just focused across the mountains of central into southern Utah, north and eastern Utah. Valleys just staying dry here, moving through the weekend, both Saturday into Sunday. We start to see the approach of the storm system, the precipitation beginning to fill in going through Sunday. Really, it's looking like Monday morning we're getting hit central towards northwestern Utah. That's going to be the biggest focus where across the south you get hit with just a few sprinkle uh, sprinkles. I should say with that next storm hitting again at the beginning of next week. Today though highs many spots in the 70s approaching near 80 degrees in Salt Lake City. We're in the 80s in Moab Bullfrog over towards St. George. Yeah, it's feeling more like kind of the middle of uh, May rather than here in the middle of April. So a warm up kind of feeling a little bit more towards the latter end of the spring. As we look for St. George, we've got the sunshine and 80s, then dropping down to the 70s, even 60s. Not a lot of rain, some clouds, winds as well. We're back into the upper 70s by next week, Thursday. So a little bump in the road. We bring in those showers here across northern Utah. Not so much for the weekend. It's Sunday night through Monday. We get hit with the rain. A few scattered rain showers on Tuesday, then a bigger temperature drop as the second wave coming through with some colder air that'll bring some uh, kind of a mixture of some rain and snow with some flakes flying. Not expecting to see much of an accumulation for the valleys, maybe along the benches, some on the grassy surfaces, but a few inches for the mountains as we're expecting there. Not a big, big storm, but it's bringing wet weather and clearing out by Thursday. So we've got that bump in the road there, but it's not here for the weekend. So we get to enjoy the warmer weather and some sunshine, at least on Saturday.